Yeah, my biggest concern, we, like I said, we've overloaded the tinnies this time. We haven't got a lot of freeboard. Uh, Jace has got less than me. His quad bike's heavier than mine, so we were really worried about his, his tinny with his weight. But the freeboard's a big thing. You've got to be careful when you slow down, careful when you turn. Right, the punts, after all said and done, they're just sort of sitting there on top of the water and we're very top heavy. My quad bike seems to be a lot heavier than Simon's. The nose of my boat or the front of my boat seems to be a little bit lower in the water and I'm sort of yelling out to Simon, oh, what's the depth, you know, how much freeboard have I got in the front? Because my boat seems to be filling up with water. There's no hole in my boat. How low is it, the front of my boat? Uh, six, eight inches. The water's splashing over the front. I just can't seem to get that nose up. And I'm I'm getting a little bit concerned here. I've got a bit of water in my boat. No, it doesn't look like it from here. Keep an eye on this water level. Simon seems to have heaps of freeboard. His quad bike seems to be a lot lighter. So we spent quite a few hours getting out of all the, the shallower part of the river because obviously we're up the headwaters of it. So the further we get, the less sticks there is. We get out into the open water, bit of a sigh of relief, bit of plain sailing now, get on the gas a bit, around some nice, twisty, open, beautiful water. But looks can be deceiving. So I'm, I'm behind Simon. If we go around the turns, you sort of, you lose sight of Simon who's out in front. Come around the corner, tight corner, on the gas a bit. So oh, it's sort of leaning over a bit as I come around the corner. And then, without warning, their trip to the coast turns into a fight for survival. Simon's just yelled out and he, and he throws the word sinking in. I've come round the corner. And here's Simon standing on the upturned hull of his tinny. And I've just gone, holy shit. In my mind, I thought, I'm still going to be all right. It felt like it was going to go straight down. Literally started going straight down, and then it rolled. And I'm just thinking, I'm going to be swimming. I couldn't see Jace. But here we go, start to start, time to start freestyling to the bank. Heaps of crocodiles in this, in this river system. Straight under, like, like in an instant. Before I get back, I just went straight to the bottom of the heartbeat. Where's the quad bike? You know where oh, the quad bike is? No! It's on the bottom of the river up there somewhere. It's gone. And my gun, my 30 30. What about 30-30? There's a quad bike in the bottom of the river! Yep. The realisation at that point is, oh, the quad bike, it's not tied into the tinny, it's gone. Oh, my rifle, it's strapped to the quad bike, it's gone. The whole mission, the whole, the whole next few days, getting up to this plane wreck, it's gone. It's just the realisation standing on the tinny, there's too much to think about, there's too much. 